We'll do it together. But I'll have my old man. Where you're rocking? Oh, I can see the box. There's water in there. And we have Shane here all day today helping us. Hey, what's up? What are you working on today? Uh, we're just pre-assembling some tie rods to get them uh, ahead of ahead a little bit, I'm trying to get everything for sizing and yep. lengths and stuff, trying to get it all pre-assembled. So we got two different tie rods here. We got um, the Comfort Fab, which are incredible, beautiful. Then we got yours, which are insanely <laughs> heavy, duty. Top, heavy duty. Yeah. So we're going to run a set on each of these defenders just to play around with them since we have them. Uh, looks like Ryan is probably going to get the little beefier set because I don't think uh, Carson is going to drive them. Woo, look at that to drive this thing like Ryan is probably going to drive this thing. <laughs> we will see though. We might be surprised. So, so anyway, well. so what we've got is the uh, Can-Am Defender belt box, which the, so we might, what we're going with here is I make a belt box plug that has a linear on it and everything. And so it remove, you remove your plastic stock plug and then you put Aluminum, build aluminum, and it has a linear on it. So, what you'll do is take you a, a dime or anything and remove your, remove your stock one. This is what you got with the stock one. Oh, wow. Yep. So, this is a hardened pin here. These are just little plastic. And these usually don't have any trouble with them, but yeah. we just try and improve. Right. And this this one here, you have to kind of get it in here just a little bit because they've all they're always changing these molds, but it fits in like that. Right. And then literally, which I got to spin it over, try and keep the logo correct. But you get it in there like that. This will go through this one screw right here in the belt box. Oh wow! And so you put that in there, and then literally you just twist that it. That thing is never going anywhere. No. It's always going to be there. Yeah, and you can. I tell everybody put a little grease on them or whatever, but right. that's it. All right, very nice. Yeah. So I see you got these together. Tell us a yeah. little bit about what we got going on. Here. <coughs> OEM. Hang on. Yo, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> o OEM, uh, factory rack, uh, factory tie rods, and factory connections. And then we have our TCP DX rack. This is a full replacement rack for the factory rack in the, uh, the Can Am Defenders. All right. And so large difference and we've got we've installed our tie rods on this one set here this one unit here and uh, with all the hardware and everything and then this is the second one here same thing uh, and then we've installed thumper fabs tie rods on there well yep yeah, that looks great so we'll have run two different sets of tie, tie rods. rods yep and uh man, they, they both just look amazing so we're gonna get this thing out here and see how that does. Absolutely. But then the difference in all three of these, <laughs> well, the two differences for sure, so yeah. is huge. All right, thank you, Shane. And the difference in the travel, man, uh, go ahead and show them. Yeah, so like uh, when, you're, when you're, so we machine and make all of our components, but these are our mega clevises that, you, that we install on our steering rack here. And then you have your, high, your uh, rod end here. And then so on your travel, on any of your suspensions you use, right? you know, you're, you have, you know, full droop or upward travel is, is really not. Full 180 all the way yeah. back around. And then like so. on the factory one here. Uh, yeah, I got you. You know, see right. that, that does that. Oh, and big difference. Okay, yeah. I see what you got going on there. Yeah, Thumper, very nice. Thumper Fab offers a heavier one here, but it's still, and it, and it works for most suspension, but it, right. it does have a limitation. And then, but you can use this setup from us in, in here for, with this tie rod. Right. So you yeah. swap this component out. Well, I definitely know that this thing is shiny and it is light. So that might be a little, you know, if you're looking for something like that. I mean, if you're looking for something that's just insanely yeah. bulletproof, I can tell that thing. Yeah. You're going to the hospital. These, if these you, are if solid you break bar that. too. These are not hollow tube. Yeah. I mean, these, these yeah, they're all there. there. They're definitely heavy. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. This is a deja vu. What do we got? Round two. 
the second defender. All the goodies. I didn't know this was red. I thought we were going with gray or black. Everything they sent us is red. Really? Does Carson know that? He does, yeah, I called him. Was he I'll okay with that? He was like, yeah, it is what it is, just send it. Series six. All right, so our Easy Steer Power Steering Series 6 from Super ATV came in. Yep. We've been waiting on these. We've been waiting on two of them. They finally got here. Uh, that's what we've been waiting on to put the front steering racks back together, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so it so, looks like we got the whole kit out. Yeah, so anybody with the Defenders, and, and so Super ATV makes a whole gambit of uh, power steering units, and they're phenomenal. If you're having issues turning your steering wheel, then Super ATV is the place to go to. Uh, it comes with a standalone ECM for the power steering module, the motor, all your bracketry, your stems, all the way up to the steering wheel. It comes with the extra wiring harnesses uh, to connect to. It's a, it's a cut dry system, it's very nice. And we promote this system uh, to go along with our steering rack because the stock unit on a Defender is roughly about 80 watts on any stock Defender. And then Super ATV, uh, developed a 600 watt steering unit and it is night and day so you go from little tough to big virtu uh, virtually just using your finger to turn your steering and then big tires too yeah, that's big what tires, you were saying yesterday tires, anything it's just a lot better unit um, everything's instruction wise uh, it's real easy to get all your parts out i always lay them out get them ready to go confirm all my bolts are here read the instructions to go put this in getting the old unit out a little bit of a chore putting this one in, just kind of the same deal, but it's, it's a very needed unit to go in. But we'll have more video on that. Right. All right. Good job. Well, it is done. Both of these things, guys have been kicking butt, getting them all done. A couple of Can Am Defenders. Up there is Ryan's. This one is Carson's of Carson Baker Motorsports. But anyway, the guys have been really kicking butt on these things the last few days. Actually, the week. I think I came out three, four days before Christmas. Worked on them a few days, but man, these things, they did turn out nice. Long travel kits by Thumper Fab. Whole bunch of good stuff by them. Shocks, exit. KMC wheels. As you've seen on that video, we had TCP with the steering control. That thing's gonna make it a, I guess you can just turn these things with your finger now. So we're gonna see how that all works out, but a lot of upgrades here. We've got uh, more moto lights underneath these things. They're gonna look really good. We've got more and more moto lights, but unfortunately they came in a little late, so we didn't have time to get them done, but we will get them done inside of these things man man these things are sharp guys four seater stereo be bumping so anyway we're taking these up to the Hatfield McCoy's trail we actually leave in the morning Cherish Ryan Daxi will be here we're picking them up at the airport these are pretty much the same on each one guys but we're gonna pick them up and then we're we're heading out. We're going to do the West Virginia trip to Hatfield McCoy's Trail and spend uh, New Year's Eve there and day and start bringing the new year. It's supposed to snow, so we're going to bring you a whole bunch of video there. And man, these are sharp. They did a really good job. Yes, sir. So, I was telling the uh, YouTube world, Facebook world, that... You got my makeup right. You do. You look good, right, man. Good, thank Love you. that hat. That looks good. The hat's on point. But uh, anyway, I was telling them that uh, we are here in Fayetteville, North, North Carolina. Carolina. You're in North Carolina, North right? North Carolina, not Arkansas. Right. And uh, so we got these things done. Was obviously, there's going to be a lot of videos coming up, but this is the end product. Man, Carson, what do you think? I mean, do you really think it's going to take this long? These things are crazy. Yeah. They have a ton of work in them, like four guys. Uh, we A couple other guys jumped in. So we had six guys at one time 
working on both these things at the same time. Uh, the service department here is crazy. They all jumped in there. So uh, if you're our cu service customers, we appreciate uh, being a little patient with us this week as we we're putting these things together. But uh, man, the fitment on this stuff, Thumper Fab fitment was easy. It was great, fits perfect. Yeah. Um, they got some really high quality stuff. It, it was great. It was actually a lot of work, a lot of stuff going on to it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, all of it went, went together great. Um, so. Yeah, the end product is un unreal. I mean, it just totally makes these machines totally different. And I can't wait to see them up there on the trail. We're, we're going to put them to the test this week. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I was telling everybody where we're headed with these. And it's supposed to get some snow. It's going to be cold. We're all packed up. But the good thing about these, they got, they're heated. They got AC heat, and heat. Heat, air condition. Absolutely. So, so everybody's going to be comfortable. Yeah. Um, so we, we think that um, something that we haven't talked about on here uh, is which we got from Wheel Pros, which yep. hooked us up with the fuel uh, and KMC wheels and their fuel tires. Uh, but they also own Zebros. Yeah. And this exactly. is all, so this thing, these both have Zebros full suspension on them. And uh, they, this is supposed to be a game changer in how these things ride. I did forget to mention that kind of earlier in the in some of the other videos. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're we're gonna hit some hard trails this week uh, and weekend, and. Uh, and see if all these uh, modifications are worth it. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna film all of it, guys. We're gonna put them to the test. Like I said, we're gonna go pull them up, and you know what we do. So there's gonna be a lot of footage from this trip coming up. But man, if you guys want anything like this, uh, Fayetteville area, well, I know Carson will ship, ship all over. anywhere. Absolutely, but, uh, these guys definitely know what they're doing. I was super impressed with his techs, the guys that he's got working. They just they grinded so hard, never complained and got it done so and if you want a good end product you want to upgrade or if you just want to go with the basic model man this this is the place guys wild uh, to wild we can do it that's right absolutely man all right it was good working with you you too brother thank yeah, you man thanks for everything absolutely cool. well guys that's uh that's it for right now but i'm telling you man these things are going to be a lot of fun i can't wait to get them on the trail y'all take care Here's Ryan's first time seeing these in real life. Seeing pictures and videos so far, so this is the first time you see them. What do you think, man? They do look cool. These are really good. I do like the gray on that one. Yeah, well. I know. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh. Even Carson said you're probably gonna want the gray one, and I was like, especially with the red accents. Yeah. Violent stuff though, too. It does. That's cool. Yeah, that thing there was that was something else putting that in yeah i bet that's taking the old one out and then you had to drill out because the bolts were on the back side welding in right so they then but there is a, a plate on the back it's like uh probably eighth inch at least it's like putting a lift kit on fucking oh, see, this is crazy truck <laughs> but these tires man i like these tires these are some mean but i do like those wheels i think those wheels with these tires <laughs> Yeah, I'm not much of a. Those do look good. Know. They, they, I, I, they both those look, do good. look good. Was this uh, Wheel Pro or? Uh, Wheel Pros, yeah. yeah. KMCs. Yeah. The fuel and KMCs. Yeah, Wheel Pro and all. Yeah. Them. Yeah, they're big. Uh, yeah. yeah the, they do the shocks too. So. Oh, is there uh, aftermarket shocks? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy already. Yeah. Up. <laughs> they're the Zebros. Oh. So. Yeah. Dude, they're they're neat. Yeah, we have lots of more moto lights to put on. Yeah. The they came look. late, so we didn't get those done, but they'll get done. And then we added extra accent lights underneath. Yeah. That's what Carson was saying because we had a lot of them. It's all right. It's like an 18 wheeler. It's like an 18 wheeler. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Morning, everybody. Morning. Woo. Here we are. Well, that thing got dirty fast. <laughs> what do you think? Ready. I don't. <laughs> Ryan, what do you think? Ready to go? You can stow it. This is an added bonus. I know. It's beautiful. It's yeah, real Christmas. It really is. <laughs> I think we got everybody's ride ready while you're sitting up there chilling. Dude, I texted you two hours ago. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> You didn't, you didn't feel like making the trip down the hill like I did. No, I didn't. I got about halfway down that I didn't know what the plan was. <laughs> in I the didn't thorns. know if Ryan was sleeping in and resting or if we were, what we were doing. I heard Carson say, man, yeah. we're on the road now. The <laughs> I heard 1030 from Carson. That's what he told no, David. You told, uh, you told David Newell to be, to meet us at 930. I heard no, 9. He well, you heard that. <laughs> you, so you yeah. knew at least 930. <laughs> what? Yeah. When okay. you and David were talking last night. I thought it was 10.30, swear to God. Oh, no. Huh. All right. No, I don't it doesn't know. matter. I, don't know I think we've blown by all that anyway. Uh, <laughs> you, you need to think, Carson, go up that razor seat. What it's warm what enough. Else? Oh, okay. Taxi. What's up, buddy? Hello. Taxi, <laughs> dude? We're <laughs> Hopefully, we won't be towing these guys. Yeah. We're down to 30. We were yeah, changing the bells last night at 10.30. So. Yeah, yeah. Sounds oh. good. Have a good one. Yeah, I'll get See you later. Yes, sir. All right, fellas. So, maiden voyage of the maiden new voyage. maiden voyage. Defenders. We're going to see. We're going to check and see if all the nuts and bolts are tight. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. As if we hadn't already. Yeah, right. No doubt. This isn't per usual. We didn't tie all the bolts. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey, we're, we're relying on somebody else for a change. This is excellent. Well, we got, we got yeah. video. Yeah. 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 We got video of everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, you got, you got a heater in there? Oh, yeah. yeah does it work good? Work. Yeah, really warm? Is it, it real nice? Is it warm? It works real good. Yeah, really? Know. Can I warm up for a minute? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got a heater in your XP? No, it's just going right, though. Yeah. Don't put them on in the mouth. Hey, man, I got a two and a half foot tall six year old in there, okay? I know, I know. <laughs> make good eat. I know. Make good eat. I do know I can fit in the back of the house, so. Is there room? Yeah. Oh, right back there. You're I cool. Used to, I used to ride snow packed in my face. Never bothered me. Now it's like, I, well, I'll, I'll take that new one and set it in a hundred out here. Right where it's like in front of that? No, seriously. No, front or rear? Okay. Uh, front. I mean, you'd Make have to keep the walkie talkie so you could tell me what I'm doing wrong in mine, but. <laughs> did y'all hear anything what we were saying? Oh, right, right, right. Now? Now, you can hear. Fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah. Oh no! When you when you say both, bring him over this way. Yeah, you can get on the roof, right, Ray? If they already had. Yeah. I don't think you're going around over there anyway. It's, it's rough over there. Right. It's rough over there. <laughs> there you go. You ain't going to get there through you. there. Okay, you're going to have to come through here. Oh, is he? Yeah. Back straight back? Back straight back. I'm trying to get away from that tree. Yeah. Yeah. You let her go. It gets it stuck right about there. So I'm going to go forward and then back up. Okay, so you can get off your hand. Yeah, just like that. Got the blues. Great. Great. See the wheels you took off of yours? You can go back uh -huh. now. They're wider. Yeah. So he's top heavy as fuck there. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I tell you. Yeah, you might have to just go as far as you can go, then we'll pull you out. Get you inside. Get you inside. Yeah. 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 Yo! Okay. Okay. Carson, move forward. He's gonna just try to power through it. 
I'm, I'm gonna, not going to try to do that. <laughs> Baby, you might as well just do it. I mean, if you can get up that far, you'll be all right. That's where I'm at. Well, make it past that part. Gonna need a little more speed than that. Nail it, nail it. You got it, you got it. Ryan's gonna have to get in there and do it. <laughs> That's good, Carson. Keep coming. Come on, B. Keep coming. That's good, Carson. Find some wheel spacers for this in town somewhere, and then maybe we could swap them back, swap the tires back. Because his is going to go fine with the 30s. You need the bigger tire. Too. Yeah, definitely. He's real narrow in the back. Your left thing. Watch out, Ryan. Hi there, B. Hey, B. Bye. I feel like you had it the first time. got a little time. muddy. It did? I feel like you had it the first time we just plowed through. You weren't as hard against that tree the first time. No, it was the same, it was same, same thing. thing, yeah. Just a little bit of body, body, just a little body, right body damage here and there. Is there? It'll, hey. buff, it'll buff out. Nah, that's mud. It's Brody, did you have fun? He's probably, his head was probably leaning on the glass. Brody was, Brody was good. back here. Hey.